Hello, welcome back to Hi-Fi Lo-Fi. This is a very short video just to talk about the metal tapes. I've already done some uh, videos on cassette tapes and I just wanted to go over the metal tapes. So I've already shown you some of these. Uh, I remember showing you that one in the last video and I may have shown you these two in a previous video, but you know what, I can't remember. and. Uh, the reason I'm doing this now is because I want to unwrap one and record on it and I want to test my AMD cassette deck using a metal cassette tape. So it kind of in a way kills two birds with one stone because what I'm doing is I'm finally going to use one of the tapes I've been showing you and I'm finally going to do the second part of the AMD cassette tape deck. So uh, let's get it open. Now, because it's metal, and metal cassette tapes cost an absolute fortune, I'm expecting it and hoping that it's uh, somewhat better quality. Right, so we've got the usual uh, dodgy wording on the sticky labels got a pretty typical smoked or should I say tinted plastic case actually this one does feel a little bit better I have to say it's a little bit um, smoother around the edges so I'll give them credit for that the inlay card there Single sheet, double sided. And here we are, here's the shell. Uh, no screws on it. Um, pretty standard looking. I mean, it's got this little sort of curved feature on it, but um, pretty standard looking, I would say. Um, and just reminding you that it's metal position. There we are. So 70 minutes. Uh, I get 35 minutes on each side of course uh, and now I want to try it out in my AMD cassette deck that you can go back and see a video on when I just went uh, over the features and the form and just did a basic overview of it but uh, I'm now going to test it using a metal so I've already been using the AMD, I should say, for uh, normal and chrome, but now it's time to test it with something serious like a metal tape. Okay, I've tried the metal tape in my AMD deck. The recording sounded good, but I expected better, to be honest. And it was peaking quite high, it was, well I've got it set if you have a look here, I've got it set there just past, a little way past number four on the record level. I did not adjust this bias control. I did not use noise reduction. Not only do I not like noise reduction but uh, I suppose a lot of purists, I'm not, I don't claim to be a purist, but I think a lot of purists don't like noise reduction either. And it's usually deemed unnecessary for metal. So I didn't use it. In fact, all I did was just adjust the record level. And it was peaking just around six I would say six decibels that is so I felt I could get better so I was curious as to whether I could get a better sound so what I did was I re-recorded it in my Pioneer TD7 now the Pioneer TD7 is definitely not a purist machine because it has digital processing 
So the source, by the way, was from my Marantz CD player here. And the source recording, the source was this CD by Evanescence, uh, the second track, Bring Me Back to Life. Why did I choose that? Well, I didn't have any particular song in mind. I just thought that that song, well, I like the song, I suppose, and it has quite a range of sounds on it the you know it's got like uh, quiet sections and heavy sections with distorted guitars so anyway i don't think that the mastering on that cd is is anything to uh, write home about but anyway um, it was just one that i tried i will dig out something that's much better in terms of cd mastering and test it again however I should say that this tape deck is definitely my favourite for recording. It records absolutely brilliantly. Again, I did not use noise reduction. It has digital processing noise reduction, which although there is a noise there is noise reduction on it, you can select Dolby B or C. They really are unnecessary. There's no point having those noise reduction functions for recording of course you may be playing back tapes that were recorded on other machines using Dolby B or C so that's probably why you would want that noise reduction function however if you're recording on this machine there's absolutely no reason why you would need to use Dolby noise reduction because the digital processing does away with any tape noise, hiss, etc. So I re-recorded the song on the same tape. That's the metal tape I just showed you. And played it back on here, which is my favourite playback deck. And it sounded absolutely wonderful. It really was a very good sound. And it definitely peaks over six decibels, by the way. Um, now, according to the information on here, it was peaking at 6.5 decibels. And now I should say that the recording level is automatically set by this. You can manually override it, but I think for digital recording, I haven't tried. I'm not sure whether you can manually override the digital recording, which is from the CD player it comes out the back of an optical connection on the back here and there's an optical input on the back of this Pioneer uh, also known as Toslink so I, I ran the CD via the Toslink that's the optical output from this CD player into the optical input of this tape deck. This is a 90s tape deck. This is really a tape deck for the digital era. But for those who are hanging on to cassettes. And it really does record excellently, I have to say. It's an amazing sounding deck. Uh, I think, you know, it out probably outperforms a lot of the high-end analog decks that came before it uh, that came many years before it because basically it's got this digital processing which analyzes everything and removes all unwanted noise and uh, sets the recording level automatically now I know that is not a purist machine I realize that but certainly if you want a decent sound, you get a very good sound. And of course, after processing it digitally, it lays it onto the tape, which is an analog format. So you do get really the best of both worlds. You've got the digital processing and the analog sound and format that we all love if we love 
cassette tapes. Back to this one again, uh, as I said, it sounds absolutely wonderful on playback, but I did feel that this deck outperformed it on recording. And just out of curiosity, I put the same metal tape in my old uh, vintage Victor deck and my Victor deck predates metal so it has type 1, type 2 and type 3. I set it for type 2 chrome and played the metal tape out of curiosity and yeah it sounded good I have to say <laughs> it, it, it did sound really good. Um, so I was also interested to know how it how the same recording so I used the same CD in the same CD player and I recorded using a chrome tape now the chrome tape I used was this There we are, Axia PS2, it says for car audio, now you can see me unwrap that in a previous video. So I was interested to know how the sound of the metal tape compared with the chrome tape, recorded exactly the same way, CD player, using this deck. Of course I did play back in this deck and this deck and this deck and interestingly although the recording on here is the best I prefer the playback sound not on the same deck I prefer the playback sound on my A and D deck so and that goes for for anything I've recorded well that, I should say that goes for metal and chrome um, I found that if I play really old tapes from like the 1980s or early 90s that were recorded on lesser machines I found that they do sound better on this one this machine has a really good way of of uh, processing and playing back your lesser recorded tapes and giving them a great sound and it's, it's to do with all that digital processing. So yeah, not a purist machine, but uh, certainly gives a very nice sound. It was very difficult to detect much difference between the chrome and the metal, to be honest. And I think that unless you'd been listening to them side by side, you would not have noticed a difference. So perhaps metal tapes are not really worth the extra money if you're using this kind of machinery with a decent chrome tape. I mean there was a very slight difference, yes it was slightly better than metal but I, that, I only noticed that because I was listening to them back to back so I could detect those subtle differences but I think for people generally sort of daily recording, making your mixtapes or whatever, I don't think you'd need to spend the extra money on a metal tape. I think you'd be satisfied with chrome. And of course that may depend on the brand and the particular tape you're using. This is now my favourite go-to deck for recording. This is my favourite deck for playback. And this just looks absolutely beautiful. I just love it because it looks so gorgeous. Anyway, this has been Hi-Fi Lo-Fi.